welcome back to my channel my name is Aura Dandelion and I'm so glad you could join me today so in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick hair tutorial on how I do an updo um first of all I've already laid my hair and in Jay wow I did such a good job you guys I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see oh what a good job I did today I tried to do something a bit different, so I hope Nji, the heat doesn't lift my wig because she said so Oh, let's just quickly get into it and so I can do my makeup and get it. Um let me show you guys how snatched my lace is today. It's snatched. So this is the girl. This is the girl. Ninga una gilo red dilo. Like I have red lines on my forehead, but I was using a red pencil to sort of mark where I'm gonna put my glue on. And J, it's already lifting. That's why I need like a proper lace glue. Gizon chengi sama sengi chengi le pa J. Period, pull, period, pull. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did um sort of uh, IGTV on how I do an updo, but I wanted to put it here on YouTube and it's quite a bit different. Um, so yeah, first of all, you need to lay your wig like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and make your section. Okay, so we're gonna make our hair into sections of where we want our updo to start. So you're gonna have to decide um, and section your hair so that there's some hair from your lace frontal that's going to cover your tracks. So I'll like a lot of um, hair. You wanna make sure we see the hair you're pulling out there's still enough hair to cover your tracks, um, even though your hair will be in an updo, like so. It also helps if you like, or piece from when you made your wig or katui pungula, cause me now when I got my wig, I remade the whole thing because it wasn't custom made to my hair and my head shape so i had to make the wig all over again so that it fits perfectly to my head and it it, it looked weird so i just had to remake the whole thing but the quality is is really nice i like the quality of the hair okay so i've decided this is what i'm gonna tie all right now i want to also add my in my bobs <laughs> i want to add like a little piece those two pieces over here so i'm going to make a little part over here where my part was really and then from this part i'm gonna make like a squarish triangle and then you keep a little piece Make sure by Lingana, they have to be sort of the same size because it will bother you. It does bother me, so it will definitely bother you. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this up so it can be out of my way. Then it's a tata level piercing. Tata lingerie now. Yo guys, so I think she's, I guess she's, it's hot, it's bloody hot and these lights are not making it any better, they're really not, okay, have your hot comb ready, you can do this uh, with just a styling mousse but I feel like with a hot comb it gives you that extra extra and I did get my 
hot comb from Michaela hair collection so I'm not sure if they still have any stock but I got mine from them so mousse also does the job this is the best mousse on the market at the moment I'm not gonna lie this mousse does what it's supposed to do it makes the pots happen it makes your hair laid and it doesn't give you like a hard crusty feel so inga kongi tanda le mousse so we're gonna make now it's like the difficult part of tying your hair and all of that jazz today i don't know i don't think i'm gonna add an extra um piece because yeah she said a lot and it's just gonna do too much for me so i'm not gonna do that today and see already it's lifting so now so now we are just using the hot comb to sort of make this area flat. You want to make your ponytail look as natural as possible because Nami, I've had instances where it, you can see Uguti, it's a wig and that is not cute. It is not cute. So you want to make sure Uguti, it is flat as flat as flat as you can possibly get it and that's how it's going to look the most natural uh, ponytail i'm gonna speed over this part because it's self-explanatory i'm just trying to make everything as flat as possible okay so now that since i'm done doing my ponytail i'm going to i think i've decided i want to do it like as a side thingy my bob because wow my lace and i think i'm gonna make it into like um a curl started off rough in the beginning but we're here now one thing about me guys i will make it work that's one thing about me okay so now i'm just going to um use my straightener to sort of straighten the hair a little bit more and to also just curl this piece over here at the front but make it like a curled um a curvy curl I'll show you guys what I mean because I'm not making sense, but let me show you. So now with my straightener, I'm going to go ahead and make it like this and then just sort of turn and make a nice curl. I don't want it to be like a super serious curl. That's why I'm using my straightener to give me this, this a vibe but let me go in ahead and do it again yeah this is what i wanted this is exactly what i wanted okay so this is me let me comb this up can I? yes that's the one that's the one and then add a bit of hairspray over here so yeah you guys this is how i do my ponytail quite simple 
but difficult once you get the hang of it it does get better and it will look better um so it's just a matter of practicing so practice makes perfect and also having the right tools and the right hair um and also you need to pluck your frontal so that it's not too bulky um at the top and obviously i need to plug this unit more but since it's a more of an everyday wig for me i don't want to plug it because over time your frontal does lose um the hair um it does bald over time so i don't want to over plug and then next thing my wig doesn't last me a long time let me do my makeup and then i'll be right back to do you know the whole <laughs> okay bye guys